All right, now we remotely access our RetroPi. So we can do everything from here. We don't even have to like log into our Raspberry Pi. Everything can be done here. We can move uh, ROM files here. We can check, click on monitor here. It tells you everything that's going on in the Raspberry Pi, the CPU temperature, how many cores, how much of the cores being used, the memory, how much of the memory is being used, all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And one of the coolest parts is actually um, managing the ROM folder and uploading ROMs to the ROM folder from here. So you don't have to like uh, save everything on a flash drive to connect it to the Raspberry Pi, then take it out, put it back to your computer. That's too much trouble. This is the easiest way to do this. So we're gonna click on this folder. And by the way, RetroPi can play a whole bunch of different systems. Basically, all the emulators are built onto the RetroPi and it plays everything from like Nintendo to like PlayStation basically. Everything in between. You can see right here, you got Genesis, Game Gear, Atari, Arcade, Linux, Nintendo, the original Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega CD, Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64. In this example, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to install a NES game. They're called ROMs. I'm not gonna show you where you can download the ROMs, but basically, let's say you wanted to uh, play the, the original Nintendo NES, right? All you have to do is go to Google, type in NES, then ROMs, then uh, download your ROM. Once you downloaded your ROM, you wanna extract that ROM, remember where you saved it. Then once you extracted that ROM and you remember where you wanted to save it, we're gonna go up to here, select the system that you want. Uh, I want Nintendo Entertainment System, the original one. Then we're gonna drag that file here or we can just click on here and navigate to wherever that file is. Mine's is in the RetroPi folder. So I'm gonna navigate to the RetroPi folder. You're gonna to navigate to wherever your ROM is. And we're gonna select our ROM. I'm gonna select the Super, Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm gonna click on open. And it's gonna upload it to our Raspberry Pi 3. So we don't need to actually do all that hard work later on. It's there. And we can upload all the ROMs to whatever folders we want. I'm just gonna reset the Raspberry Pi. Now that we restarted our RetroPi, remember we uploaded a ROM earlier. Once we restarted it, now it brings us to this screen. It knows we have a ROM and it'll tell us we have one game available and uh, we could just click on it. So I'm gonna click on it right now. It's the Nintendo and I have Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm gonna click on that and it should start the game. Give it like a second or two to start the game. As you can see, this is the game right here. All right guys, so it loaded the game. This is Super Mario Brothers 3. I'm not gonna play it because I don't wanna get in trouble because you're not supposed to upload like Nintendo gameplay on YouTube, you could get in trouble. This is fine enough, I'm not playing the game, but you guys would be able to play anything that you upload. Remember, all you have to do is download your ROMs. Once you download all your ROMs, we're gonna go to our desktop and our desktop, depending on the system you guys wanna play, you, you have to extract the ROMs by the way, before you upload it. Make sure all those ROMs are extracted, you upload it to your Raspberry Pi or your RetroPi, and you should be able to play the games. All that configuration you did earlier, you only have to do it that one time. Uh, now that now this is basically good to go. You can shut it off, turn it on, and it, it'll be ready to go. So that's pretty much it. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rusin from RaspberryTech.com, and thank you guys for watching.